Welcome. Okay, so if you're new to my channel, uh, this portion is called Story Time. And I'm going to be telling stories about my personal life and just my everyday walk with the Lord. I feel that a lot of times we can hear messages on Sundays or Wednesdays, and they sound beautiful, but what does it look like in the application of it? So that's what I'm going to be digging into today. <sighs> and this one is a funny one. A couple of days ago, I bought this shampoo and it was $8.26. I wash my hair with it and this is what it does. Completely matted my entire head. It was almost as if somebody put bubble gum in my hair. So I, I put a whole bunch of conditioner in and I started slowly working all the knots out. It got to the point where I literally had to get out of the shower and I'm combing out knots for like an hour. And I'm thinking, this shampoo is going back. But I was talking to my aunt and she's like, well, I don't know if like the Asian hair store is going to let you return that. And so I look at the receipt and it says, you can only return items that have not been used or opened. So I'm thinking, okay, I only used like a little bit of it and it almost tore out my hair. <laughs> so this shampoo was going back. I'm, I'm getting my money. A couple of days go by. Finally, today, I get the opportunity to go to the store. So in my mind, I'm thinking I'm going to show her the picture, explain to her what happened and try to retur return the item anyways. So I get in there and I go to put all the stuff in the counter. And I was like, I, I want to do a return. And she goes, did you use it? And immediately I said, no. <laughs> she's like no and I'm like no no I didn't use it I didn't use it and um, she goes okay so she, you know she pops open the lid she looks at it and then she begins to run my my return I get the money and I start walking around the store acting like I'm going to buy something and I'm just like Lord I really don't want to buy I just wanted to return this but now I feel so guilty that I lied so I'm, I'm like maybe I can get like a hair mask or, or I don't know maybe some earrings or whatever so um, while I'm on the other side of the store, it sounded like she said, or she called over uh, an employee and it sounded like she said, has this been used? And immediately I start listening like, oh my gosh, I'm busted. <laughs> she knows. And I, I squat down and I'm trying to listen, but I'm looking at the earrings. And then the Holy Spirit so sweetly said, you can walk over there and tell her the truth. And I'm thinking, nah, nah. I can't do that. <laughs> I can't do that. So um, <clears throat> I go to walk out of the store. I get in my car. And so sweetly again, he says, you can still go back in there and tell her the truth. And I'm like, uh, you know, it's just it's kind of weird at this point, because like, I don't walked around the whole store. I didn't say nothing. Now I'm in my car. Like, we're just we're, we're gonna we're just gonna leave this one alone for today. And um, I get out side the parking lot and again he goes you can still turn around and tell her the truth and I'm like yeah but you know I'm just gonna tell you I'm sorry like I'm sorry I know that I lied and I'm so sorry but I just like I can't go back in there <laughs> and um, I start driving down the road and I get to the stoplight and he goes you know you can turn right here and it'll loop you right back around and you can go tell her the truth. And I'm like, nah, it, it would just be silly. Like, like really, it's silly at this point. <laughs> I keep driving. I get all the way into the city. I'm like halfway home. And he said, what is the value of your honor? Is it worth $8.26? And right there, I just kind of was like, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Wait a minute. What? Your honor. The value of your honor, is it only worth $8.26? And I'm like, that's kind of cheap. I mean, when you put it that way, like, the value of my honor is only $8.26. And then he began to deal with me with my identity, who I am in him, and the value of my character, the value of my words, the weight of my words. I find myself turning on the turning signals to turn around and go back. 
from that moment, the fun really began because then he started like unpacking all these different things. Like, what would you exchange the truth for? If you would be willing to do it for only $8.26, what will you do when you're in a bigger position with a larger amount of money? Will you exchange your value, your weight, and your honor before me for money? And I'm just like, Lord, I never even like, I never even plugged it into character, which I think is so beautiful because one of my favorite parables is the story of the two sons. When Jesus asked, which one did what the father asked? The father comes up and says, go, go do this in the garden or whatever. I don't remember. And one son goes, absolutely, I'll go do it. And the other son, I love it out of the message, was like, nah, I ain't doing it. But it says that as the son went on, he began to reason within himself. He changed his mind and then he went and just did it. While the other son who said, I'm going to go do it, never did it. And the crowd said it was the second son, the one that reasoned within himself. Exactly. That's exactly it. And I just think it's so beautiful because I find that to be a lot of my interactions with him. He'll come to me about something and I'm like, uh, no, nah, I'm good on that. <laughs> and he begins to deal with me, but he doesn't deal with me in a way that he says, you know, you know, I say that it's not good to lie. He dealt with me with my identity. He brought me up to a higher level to see the value of who I am in him and said, are you willing to exchange this of who you are in me for that? And when I look at both, I'm like, not, I can go. <laughs> that, that one can go. And I gladly do it. So as I'm driving back and he's, he's doing all of this within me and I'm just laughing all the way to the store, just enjoying the presence of God. Um, I said to him, I said, now when I go in there, I don't want to go in there with the expectation that she's going to be like, don't worry about it. You can keep the money. I don't want it. Even if it comes to the point where she says, you can have it. Dad, I don't want it. I'm going to give it back to her because my honor is on the line. <laughs> so I get to the store. I walk in there and I said, I have to apologize to you because I lied to you. I told you that I didn't use that shampoo and I did. And so I'm going to give you the money back for it. And she's like, no, 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 no. So she goes down on the receipt and she's like underlining things. Like at first it took her a second because she looked at me like, what? <laughs> and I'm like, no, 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 I lied to you. I did use that shampoo. I showed her the picture of my hair and what it did to it. And she starts lining things in, in the receipt. And she's like, no, you know, like if it's a chemical or whatever. And I'm just like, no. And I could see her smiling behind her mask. And I'm just like, no, it says in the clause that if the product is used, that I cannot return it. So I cannot return that product because I used it. And she goes, oh, okay, well, you know, don't worry about it. And she went to give me the money. I said, no, no, no. It says there that if I use it, I can't return it. So I can't accept this money. So then she goes to give me the shampoo back. She's like, well, then give it to someone. And I said, no, 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 I can't do that either. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I done showed you the picture of what it did to me. I wouldn't want to do that to anybody else. So that's okay. You can keep the shampoo. You can keep the money. I just wanted to apologize. And then I left. But the beauty to me in all of this is just seeing the faithfulness of God, the kindness of God, that even in his correction, he doesn't correct me in a way that beats me down but he corrects me in a way that lifts me up into the truth of who I am. And I get to enjoy the beauty of God throughout my day. So yeah, this is what it's like living in the kingdom of God. It's just the way that he sees me and the way that he speaks to me so encourages me to want to choose him every time. So that's my story time for today. Um, I just want to leave you with the fact and the beautiful truth that this is our God and this is the way that he child trains us and it is beautiful. It is loving from beginning to end, even the correction. It is absolutely beautiful. But I know that you have been blessed in your hearing. Bride of Christ, arise.